Well, I, 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 I left home when I was 13, you know, because I live in a, with my parents, I was living in, in a town in uh, 150 kilometers from Barcelona. And when I was 13, Barcelona came to my house, came to my parents and asked to sign. So I came here living in, a, in La Masia, in a residence. And I remember that time being a teenager as a very special time. So, something that I'm very proud because it's not always that it makes me or it gives me the chance to follow my passion and, you know, use my passion as my career, but uh, making me as a, as a person. So it's uh, give me values, give me a lot of experience, a lot of uh, friends. So coming to Barcelona, it was a, the very big, I don't know if it's the best, but one of the best steps that I made. The VAR Show. The one place for your weekly football update. So hello, very warm welcome to the VAR Show. The show which talks about always major football leagues in detail. Today we are going to continue with interviews and we have Mr. Zofre Mashi Gonzalez, who has played for the likes of Espanol, Levante, Atletico de Kolkata, Goa, among a host of other teams. So, without wasting much time, I'd like to first thank Zofre for coming on the show. Thank you and welcome to the show. I'd like to begin by asking you, how are you and what are you doing these days? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. Hope you too. Please stay safe and take care. Uh, now here I'm in Barcelona, uh, doing working for media, you know, doing uh, as an analyst in, in TV shows. Uh, some matches, uh, radio shows here too, and you know, collaborating with uh, uh, Sony Sports in in India, doing Champions League, doing Nations League, and and Serie A. So very connected with football as always. But uh, now, in in, other, in in the other side, you know, commenting. So how how is the media world for you? Well, it wasn't it wasn't expected. So when I was fin- when I finished my career, uh, I wasn't. Mm, you know, ready or I'm not, I wasn't thinking about uh, that it's going to be my professional, it's going to be my job, but uh, they start calling me as a, let's say, uh, trying me or, or, or you know, uh, taking some um, matches to see how it works and, you know, start working like that and I am enjoying it and uh, preparing every every time more and more and now i i was i'm working in a tv i think near four years so since i was retired in goa i started uh, uh, i started working uh, in a tv and uh, i'm really happy because it's a job that it can it allowed you to to be connected with football again but uh, in another way and enjoying matches so i'm happy so, what is the best part about being involved with TV? The best part is that you can analyze. You don't see when you are on the pitch. And with the experience that you have now, you know, you can smell things that are happening in the, in the match. But because you are just watching it from outside. So, I think I can give a view very, not special, but kind of different. And like, I'll get back maybe to a very, very basic question. Why football? Wow. It's not a choose. You know, I was born in a house uh, that is the limit, you know. My my house is limiting. Just in the other side, there's not a house, but it's a football pitch. So I think that from the very beginning, just watching the goals, watching the, uh, the, the, the ground. And my father was a... Uh, uh, a very passionate football player, not professional, and it's not a choice. I, they, my, they, my parents always remember that I, I start more. Even I start shooting before, before walking. So it's just something that uh, is is ingrained in, on me. And you like you came through the ranks at Barcelona. How was the time there? But you didn't spend much time there. How was it? How was the time at Barcelona? Well, I, 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 I left home when I was 13, 
you know, because I live in a, with my parents, I was living in, in a town in uh, 150 kilometers from Barcelona. And when I was 13, Barcelona came to my house, came to my parents and asked to sign. So I came here living in, a, in La Masia, in a residence. And I remember that time being a teenager as a very special time. It's a, something that I'm very proud because it's not always that it makes me or it gives me the chance to follow my passion and, you know, use my passion as my career, but uh, making me as a as a person. So it's uh, give me values, give me a lot of experience, a lot of uh, friends. So coming to Barcelona, it was a the very big, I don't know if it's the best, but one of the best steps that I made. And you like you said, you were in La Marcia and La Marcia yeah. is very famous, you know, like very for producing a lot of talents. What is so special about La Masia? Well, I think that the special mm, thing that makes La Masia now, because it's like a brand, no, let's say brand, it's because we are not here in Barcelona just giving good football players, but good persons. You know, it's how we understand that football gives you a way to live in a healthy, uh, um, let's say, how I say, uh, fair, you know, in terms of fair play with values, uh, human and um, gives you some skills like uh, effort, like passion, like being humble. So it's not only playing and how to understand the way that we play, but as football is a, 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 a teammate a game at the end. So you need to be connected. You need to have uh, some um, uh, kind of family uh, environment. So it's uh, that's why I think that La Masia gives you not only football, but a person too. But then you went on to play more for Espanol, the local derby. How was it? Like, how was it going to play <laughs> for Espanol? Well, because I, I left La Masia when I was 21, I guess. And then playing in other clubs and at the end uh, uh, appear the, the chance to come home to play in La Espanol, you know, playing in Europe, playing for a big club here in Spain too and leaving home. So, of course, I I know that it's like your, you know, your opponent, but being a professional, you probably need to forget your colors and look for your family, look for many other things. And it was a very big chance for me and it was great, very strange. I, I, I must say that it was very strange because, you know, visiting Camp Nou with the rival, it's it's something that makes you feel strange. But at the end, it's your job. And like, did you get any stick from the supporters, from any supporters? No, no, no. Most in... Uh, it's, it's more common that you can imagine here. There's a lot of players, you know, living in Barcelona that at the end finish playing in, in Espanol because... Uh, you know, it's like, the, you know, following uh, your your career when you leave Barcelona, uh, you have a lot of chances because it's like you are uh, a very, you have a good future in football. So it's uh, signing for Espanol or other clubs, but Espanol too. And it's, uh, it's more common, not in the other way, not, for, you know, for Barcelona, but it's something... Uh, you know, professional and for Espanol, it's it's true that they know that I'm a very fan and very Barcelona supporter. But at the end, it was just one year. So it's not so, you know, it's not a big deal. And you like, you left Spain towards the end of your career to go to India. Why India? Yeah. Well, because I was looking for a, a different future. I spent all my career here, you know, from 19 years old. I made my debut when I was 18, and when I was 34, I'm looking. I was looking for something different. I'm tired for playing here, not big offers here. So I was looking for something short term and like a vital experience. More not not only in, in terms of football. So. The ISL start, you know, Indian Super League started at that season and it was a very big chance. And I must say that it's, it was, I was a lucky guy because uh, for me, it's a very big, um, 
decision that I made. And you also won the ISL in your first year itself. How was that? Well, it was uh, terrific. You can imagine, you know, starting a competition, tough competition because we played very uh, short schedule, tough because we play every two, three year, three days, uh, traveling and everything. And first time in India, everything is like shocking you. But we made a great job and we are very proud of it. And yeah, uh, big success. You know, I, I now I can say that I, I I won a Super League and first champion. So for me, I'm, I'm very proud of it. And also, do you think like you had Antonio Lopez Havas at ATK? Yeah. Do you think that that influenced your decision to go there? Not at the beginning because you know in the first season uh, there was a, there were a draft there was a draft and and you you should uh, uh, give your name to put in a draft and then the, the clubs choose you so I I wasn't uh, sure I I didn't know that I I, I my name is gonna be uh, uh, you know linked with ATK at the very beginning so uh, lucky me. We we built something not only me but with other you know with Luis Garcia with uh, Borja uh, not only the coach but some other uh, Spanish players Josemi Arnal and and we made a very a very big uh, great job. And uh, when you went there, I think it was it was the first season. It was very new, but now I think there are more Spanish players and Spanish internationals than anything else. Why do you think like Spain players from Spain go to or coaches go to India? Well, I think that we we open a we open a way we open a uh, because of our success. You know, I think there's a uh, a competition short shorter competition that you used to play here in Europe. Uh, of course, there are many people who can uh, make more money there than probably than they are making here in Spain, and it's like living a different experience. And I think that, you know the here in, in Spain, everything is very involved with football, a tradition here. And I guess that in India, we can help in terms of development. So uh, everything has a connection. So for the Spanish players, it's a very good opportunity to success. And for Indians, uh, you, you can take an advantage to have some uh, so experienced and well-formed players. And like when you played there, of course, it was very new and the idea was very new. It just started. How was the quality of the league? Well, uh, it's not the same that now, but that was the idea. So there is a lot of talented Indian players, but with not background. So the challenge was, let's make the Indian football, let's, let's, let's make it grow. And I think it's it's working uh, now. You can find many many Indian players. You know the national team has uh, uh, improved a lot, and um, you know, for us was a uh, a nice thing that we feel like uh, we can help in that way. So uh, at the very beginning, there's uh, more foreigners now, no, not not the same number. So they are uh, giving less chances for for so foreigners. To have more Indians, what I think that is very interesting, and uh, it's uh, uh, the level of the Indian players, you know, it's it's very very higher than at the very beginning. So I think the the idea is working. And then you moved to Goa. How was Goa? Well, I remember when I was in ATK, the first time I traveled to Goa to play, I thought like, wow, that's a kind of paradise, man, and. Uh, and the thing that we discussed in that travel was next year I my idea is to come here to play because it's an amazing place and I find a way and uh, the the option I have no doubt and even where you are you, uh, you know with so uh, the chance was absolutely uh, incredible and you can now the the, the ESL is gonna is gonna be in Goa all but every time that we receive a team and i was you know discussing or talking with some opponents when they travel to goa and i was playing there say lucky guy you man that you are living here in comparing with other places so i i i'm in love with goa you know i'm very 
connected with the place, not only in terms of football, but with the people, with uh, everything, because it's a, it's an awesome place. And like, also you had like, I think Zico was a head coach when you were there, like legendary figure. Yeah. What? How was it playing under him? Well, uh, it's not only that it's a honor to be under Zico's uh, um, work or, or under his his manner, but it's for me was uh, uh, how to say it was like uh, there's an uh, there's a life before knowing Zico and after knowing Zico because being a, such a huge legend and showing this humble it's this humility being so humble it's something that it it it, it changed your way to live because uh, he's an extraordinary man uh, ready for everything always with a smile uh, very uh, with a good disposition to receive everything you know and never a bad word and he's a big legend probably one of the biggest legends in football so for me was um, was a, a very big step in terms on Joffre. Follow that guy because I think if you can touch just a small part of his life, you are gonna be very happy. And like, I want to ask you, like, I'll stay with India. How, what was the biggest difference for you, in your opinion, playing in for ATK in Calcutta versus playing for FC Goa in Goa? Like, what was the difference? Well, with with Antonio in in ATK, we played more, let's say more strict, you know, under tactics. And with Zico, we have uh, more freedom. It term, it's, it, it's true that I played in in a different position, you know, with ATK, I played in a left wing. And with Zico, I played like a, a attacking midfielder with a lot of freedom. And and actually, he gave me that freedom that it makes me feel very proud too, because when under your under a legend that is, uh, make, make what you really want, because you know how to, it's like uh, make you feel very well, and and uh, yeah, with 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 Goa we have uh, more freedom, more um, uh, connection with uh, with uh, with uh, let's say team feelings, you know, under your under his words, uh, with many go many gaurs, you know, many players from Goa, very Latin identity, so it's uh, more emotional. If you want, you can speak in Spanish also. You habla un poco español. Hablas un poco español? Sí. There's a lot of people there. Not only you, because you you study you study Spanish there a lot. Yeah, no, I I was in Barcelona for quite a while also, like around three four months. So uh -huh. yeah, so I kind of little bit, no little bit, not a lot. Un poco. And what about Catalan? No, no, that is very. No. I don't know. <laughs> it's difficult. Like it's di I, yeah, I, yeah, like yeah. it's difficult. It's quite difficult. Yeah, so I'll, yeah. yeah. So, I, I, like, I wanted to ask you, like, I, I feel like Barcelona is quite similar to Goa. Like, in terms of the culture, you have footballing culture and maybe, like, you have beaches and, you know, like, the... Tourism. Full... Yeah, 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 I yeah, mean, yeah, like... Yeah. It's like people is prepared to receive. Yeah. Others, no, because, yeah, we are very, like, we are very uh, uh, used. Uh, we are people uh, here, you know, the... There's a lot of frequency on, on visitors, and I think Goa is the same. So, yeah, uh, very open-minded. That's why I think that my connection with Goa is easier, because uh, it's something like that kind of these similarities help you to uh, adapt, no? And, yeah, uh, uh, of course, Barcelona is my, is my city, it's home, but I can tell you that Goa, I feel Goa like my second home, really. Of course, and I'll get back to your career, and it's like, you have played for so many different teams, you know, like mostly yeah. in Spain and then in, in India for two teams. Where did you enjoy your time the most? Uh, the most? Mm, it's not easy to say just one. But let me tell you that probably Goa was the, the biggest experience in terms of everything because you feel like very experienced and you can give uh, many things to the team. I feel very comfortable in then leading some things uh, in, inside and outside. And Zico gives me that protagonism that you, as a, as a football player, make you feel very well. Then here, you know, I, 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 I should say that 
in every club I I have many uh, good uh, experiences, many good uh, life uh, memories. But if I have to choose one, and I'm, I'm choosing Goa. Okay, definitely. And you know, like if you had to choose, I'll make it more difficult. If you had to choose one, you have played under many very good managers. If you had to choose one manager who had the most influence in your career, who would that be? Well, Zico is a is a very good coach for me, and is a one of the top in my in my list. But I have two here in Spain: Manolo Preciado, who who was uh, in Sporting de Gijón, and and uh, was my coach in in Levante. Who is an extraordinary was an extraordinary, and Ruby, who was uh, coaching in Barcelona too, in Girona, Espanol, Betis, and I think he's the the biggest coach I I have seen I have um, had because he controlled not only the tactics but a lot the the human resources that you need to lead a a, a team. And did you ever consider becoming a coach yourself? Yes, yes. I told you I have uh, have a license, and uh, you know I'm 40 now, and you know I have some. I already have some some offers, but nowadays you know I near four years. I I get retired, and I'm living another. As I told you, another way, another part of, of football. I'm comfortable now. I'm, I'm enjoying the, the life I'm I have now. You know, I'm I'm growing in my job, and let's see. The, you never you never say no. And I think I feel like, some, day I'm gonna coach, but not close, not not in a very close future. Of course, and you're like whenever that is, I want to ask like, do you have like an idea how you want your team to play? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Because I uh, I know I know now I'm I'm watching football a lot, you know, because of my job. And I control many different coaches, many different styles. And of course I know because as a football player you you know how you how makes you feel comfortable in a in a match, in a field. And I think that it's not easy to transfer it to the other team uh, players, but in terms of if you will try, if you make a lot of effort on that, you are you are going to be very close. And you know, being very protagonist with the ball, with a high pressure, you know, occupying the the opponent's uh, part of the of the uh, the field. Yeah, of course, I, I have an idea. I have like a kind of model, but. As you, as it, it, when when you are a coach, you can implement it and you can probably improve it or uh, make it better. But now at the, nowadays, I have a, a model. Yeah, of course. And I'll get back to you, your playing. And as a player, which formation did you like playing in the most? Well, I think it's not it's not the draw, it's not the system, but the idea. But yeah, uh, to. To have this protagonism with the ball, you as many players you put in the opponent field, you know more attacking, more you are you are gonna be more exigent for the others, you know, for the team that you are uh, facing. So, uh, of course, wings using wings, uh, and um, I like three midfielders, two wings, and one and one on front, you know, as a striker. So probably four three three probably. So, and you're like, in your career, which was the most difficult op- opponent you came across? Wow, as a player or as a team? Both, you can say as both. Like, uh, I must say that I I I have a, a teammate that I made that in the you know some years before it was my opponent that is Carles Puyol, and you can never imagine how hard it is to breathe with him. So it was kind of. Impossible because you dribble him and he's gone, you know, he's uh, again is is ready to defend you. So very tough. And uh, yeah, probably the team because I faced that that Barcelona with Raikal, with Ronaldinho, with uh, Messi starting, Thierry Henry, Samuel Eto, Xavi, Iniesta. Imagine, you know, when you face that team, there's no chance. 
question you like i want to ask you like you were in la marseille when this generation was building yeah. up how was the atmosphere there because you know this set of players which came that time i think they will be i think la marseille will never be able to produce this set of like so many talented players ever like that this way no in that gen- or i should say that i help a, a little bit you know a small piece but i help to build it because chavi was my teammate you know chavi and me was i'm 24 january 80 and and chavi is 25 january 80 so one day just and we are friends and we 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 spend many many times together iniesta came to la masia when i was there so i take care of him like a big brother you know all the elder brother so i have something that i help a little bit and yeah i could be there actually i made my debut with bangal when everything is very close to start but yeah many circumstances at the at the end uh, make made me feel that i i need to leave uh, and against my volunteer as you can imagine but but it's it's great to to know that you were part of that uh construction but it's sad too why not to say that you are not there <laughs> so it's like uh, you know it's not it's not easy i did not know you played under van gaal van gaal is known to be very very you know like serious how is it how is he like how is it playing under him he was an extraordinary ma- um, manager and extraordinary coach in terms of knowledge he made a very funny uh, sessions with a lot of rhythm so he developed the idea of the way that we understand now how barcelona plays and but he was a uh, coach to helping a lot on that uh, and probably we came to cry guardiola and whatever but bangal make his work and he knows a lot and he he came here to give us a, a small piece that but very helpful but it's true that he is very serious he's a, a little bit uh, you can be strict but you uh, you know when you are managing people you need that left hand to you you give something hard and then you give something sweet and probably he missed the sweet part <laughs> and and not only van gaal like you had a lot of people at that in and around that time when you were there you had i think guardiola you had i think yeah. mourinho was there on the yeah. various capacities like it was like very like i mean a golden period i think at barcelona like you were when you were there i mean it was very good right yeah yeah i i i went I had my debut and I come I I I went to a pre-season to Manchester we went to Manchester to make my prison with a with a team that was uh, Igo it was Rivaldo Guardiola Luis Enrique many you know legends in in Barca and and you know uh, as coaches now and Mourinho was a second in the staff uh, with Kuman that who is now in 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 the in Barca too both were there in 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 Bangal's uh, uh, staff so yeah um it's something that it's not now as to say as a you know as an anecdote but it helps you to show that when you are involved with that kind of people with that huge talent and huge experience huge uh, um let's say things to transfer you try to get as much as you can and and uh, now i i'm i'm giving it in 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 uh, in the way and in the short part that i i can i'll i'll ask you a difficult question you like barcelona have been under such a golden period you know like for the last 20 30 years yeah. do you think they can repeat this success ever because the amount of players like so, someone like messi i don't think so will come around again like for a long yeah. time you know like what do you think I'm getting you I'm getting you. and and you never say never uh, as as we said before and and we we'll, we we don't know now but I feel that I, uh, you and me we are not watching it we are not seeing it be not only Messi but Messi is a very big part of it because you know there's an uh, is a legend extraordinary and I think we I don't know if I, probably we we see some players uh with that with a talent not a lot but some you know the always the history tell you that you expect but something appear but it's not only messi you know it's the way that a, a very big generation on how to understand the play the game how to feel the identity with the t-shirt 
with the city, with the club. So you build something very difficult to repeat. You said, no, many uh, former players from uh, very young, uh, humble people, understanding perfectly how to play in the way that they are playing with an extraordinary coach, with the biggest player in the history. You are assuming many things that how can you repeat it? It's very, it's going to be very tough. Of course, I'll get back to yourself. And do you have any one goal that you go to YouTube and search and watch again and again that you scored? Couple of, you know, I scored my my first goal when I made my debut with Barcelona when I was 18. The first match I played in La Liga, I scored. And I wasn't a very, uh, you know, my skill is not to score goals. I can score some, but I'm, I'm more than cross and more than give passes than the score. So I made my debut with the scoring and it was very special for me. Then uh, there's a one goal that I play. I, 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 I scored with Levante because it's a very nice game, goal, you know, for a long distance, you know, shooting from, from uh, 30 meters that is it's very nice, but it's something that appears once in a, in a career. So it's a very nice goal. And then with Goa, when I scored in the final, do you remember in 2015, I scored in the final in a, the, the 2-1 home playing the final in, in Fatorda, 18-8 minute, you know, that kick, Kick off in uh, no kick off that uh, yeah that uh, frontal line fall that you score you know you're imagining all everything score but at the end uh, Chennai uh, overlap us and and they score twice and they they won but that that goal was very special of course and I'll, and were you a superstitious person as a player like did you have any routine no 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 I'm very against superstition I I, I I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not friend of that because I think that when you are like linked with something that you are sometimes not ready or not able to to produce, to do, to make, then you are like uh, uh, how to say. Uh, you 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 feel that it's something missing. So I prefer not to not to have any superstition. Of course. So uh, so we are getting to the end. And I have two more questions. In and the first of the two is if you had to choose one moment from your career. Which is a standout moment? Which one would that be? My debut with Barcelona. My debut with uh, the national Catalan team in Camp Nou against Brazil. And uh, probably the 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 Super League winning with uh, with ATK in, in in India. Of course, and you know, like so, we'll move on to our last question before we wrap up. And do you have any advice for young players who are just coming through? And if and what should they do? Well, uh, it depends on the ages. When you are so young, when you are a child or a teenager, your 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 focus should be always only only in enjoying, because you have a very long future, and you know enjoying it means like sometimes sacrifices, sometimes enjoying it. When you are enjoying one thing, when you have passion in something, the effort it's it's nothing. You know, you if you need to wake up at five in the morning because you are going to practice, but your practice is football and you are enjoying it, it's okay. It's not the same, but you are uh, going to, for, a, for a job, then it's very tough. But if you are going to a practice, it's okay. But yeah, when you are a, a very young player, just enjoy. And then in the, uh, in the young players that they are uh, starting, uh, mostly the same, you know, Keep the passion because it's it's tough sometimes. It depends on coaches. It depends on you are playing or not. You are feeling okay with the team, with the teammates, or whatever. If you don't never lose your passion and you are very focused on that, it's the way that you want to live your life. I think you you can win all the obstacles that you are receiving. I don't know. Of course, and I, I think that will be very helpful for young players. And, you know, like on that note, Zofred, thank you so much for talking to me. And I wish you all the best for your future endeavors and especially with your coaching career. Hope to see you in India someday, coaching FC Goa maybe. Thank you once again maybe. for coming. Take care, stay safe. Bye. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.